Good afternoon. Thank you for coming today. My name is Gabe Klein, and I'm the Commissioner of the Chicago Department of Transportation. We're pleased to have reached a significant milestone today in the partnership between the U.S. Department of Transportation and the City of Chicago in the plans to complete the Chicago Riverwalk. This will be a transformative project for Chicago. It will create a continuous pedestrian walkway from the lake through the heart of downtown, reconnecting Chicagoans with the river that is so important to the history of this city. It will create a beautiful public space that breaks down the barrier to Wacker Drive with access to other forms of transportation, including water taxis, kayaking and boating, active transportation, buses and trains, and soon, thanks to support from the U.S. Department of Transportation, Chicago's bike sharing system. I'd also like to just take a moment to thank Transportation uh, Secretary Ray LaHood for his truly awesome leadership over the last four years and the significant role that he's played in the creative visioning as well as the practical building of America and Chicago's transportation system, including the reconstruction of Wacker Drive and our Well Street Bridge that you can see out here to my right. He's also not shied away from, cre from creating livable communities as embodied by this Riverwalk project. Um, I'd also like to just say uh, I'd like to thank him for his friendship over the last four years. Thank you. Thank you. And we certainly wish him well in his future work after he leaves office. It takes great leadership to do great things, and Mayor Emanuel has charged CDOT to build these next six blocks, the final blocks of the Chicago Riverwalk. Under his leadership, we will create the next great public space in Chicago. Ladies and gentlemen, Mayor Rahm Emanuel. Thank you. Thank, thank you very you. much. Thank you. Uh, since we're recognizing people, I do want to uh, thank uh, Senator Durbin, who couldn't be with us today, who's with family, for his support of this effort. And I also want to recognize Alderman Riley, who has been extremely supportive of the vision of open space here on the river. And when the first time we actually met, we talked about our vision of what we want to see on the river and the sense of open spaces here in the uh, downtown business area. This is also, as I was telling Ray, very significant day because one year ago we launched Chicago's building a better and building a new Chicago in the sense of our infrastructure one year ago. And there's nothing in my view that would honor that anniversary more important than what I think and I've talked about, which is the river walk for the city of Chicago. Now about two weeks ago, I talked about the fact that across the city of Chicago, we have five distinct projects that we are embarking upon in the sense of new open space and park for the city. Maggie Daly's Park, Rose Hill, Silatex, Bloomingdale Trail, as well as in uh, there's, wait, there's Rose Maggie Daly, I'm doing them all, North Lee Island. I don't know how I forgot that. That's about 125 acres of land all being developed in a unique and distinct way throughout the city. It's the equivalent to five different millennium projects underway in the city of Chicago all of different size, scope, and capacity, but it takes what we're doing in the Millennium Park and now moves it out to our neighborhoods and throughout the city of Chicago. Second, we also announced that we were gonna do 300, over the next five years, 300 of our playgrounds, rebuild them, to make sure that every neighborhood and throughout the city of Chicago had a new playground. And that property values for homes near a park of quality is 25% higher than any other property if it wasn't near a park. And that's also going to be true about what we do here for our river and our river walk. This summer, the first of the two, the first two of the four boathouses will open in the city of Chicago for canoeing, kayaking, and sculling throughout the city. And they will be coming online and opening, uh, as I said, both in May and then towards the end of the summer. Jeannie Gang, the architect, has put them in place. I came and saw Ray a little less than a year ago about this river walk with Gabe and others in our transportation sector and said that I wanted to make the Chicago River the next recreational frontier for the city of Chicago to complement what we were doing in our neighborhoods with our boathouses. This has been on the books going all the way back to the 90s. Now if you go way back, the river was the industrial, an original industrial highway for the city of Chicago. We've now closed two coal fire, fire power plants in the city of Chicago. We're left to some metal being moved by boat. But the truth is, we're now at a juncture in the history of the city 
of reintroducing the city to the river and the river to the city. We've been fortunate as a city because of our lakefront. And yet the river hasn't been fully realized for all its potential for all the residents in the city of Chicago, which we're about to embark on with both the boathouses and now this river walk, which would, in my view, as we were just showing Gray, totally transform the river, downtown area in the city of Chicago, and make it the next millennium project for us here in the city and all the potential that it can bring, which is why over the last two decades people have talked about it, and we are now here at this point to fully realize it for the city of Chicago. And I also want to say that I think this will uh, bring, when we're building it, 400 jobs, plus when it's fully operable with retail and also all the music and all the other aspects will be 400 permanent jobs, not just in the building part, but also in operating the Riverwalk and the restaurants and the bars and the entertainment that will come with it. Second is, I want to say this as a person who has been Ray's colleague in Congress, Ray's colleague when I worked for President Clinton, and Ray's colleague when I worked for President Obama as Chief of Staff, and Ray's colleague as Mayor of the City of Chicago, and he as Secretary of Transportation. But most importantly, he has been my friend throughout all that process. And in the time in which we have had many dinners together as Congress, many dinners together when I was living without my family, and Ray uh, and Kathy adopted me for all practical purposes. I just told Kathy, when Ray returns and out of public sector, give me a call in a week because I have a job for him and you'll want him to have a job. <laughs> uh, I can't thank you enough, Ray, for your time with Bob Michael, your time in Congress, your time as Secretary of Transportation, for your friendship, not to me alone, but to the people of the state of Illinois and the people of the city of Chicago. And you have a lot uh, to say for a lifetime of public service to make this a greater city. And nothing means more to me than for you to come here back to the city of Chicago and to announce now the River Walk, which will embark the city on a whole new venture. And it would not be possible if it wasn't for you, your friendship, and your commitment to open space. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you. Well, good afternoon, everyone. I'm delighted to be back in Chicago and delighted to be back in our home state of Illinois, and, uh, and I, I, I have some prepared remarks, but I, I want to explain how this program works and specifically how it is so important uh, for us at the Department of Transportation and uh, for the city of Chicago. As Ram said, uh, he, he talked to me about this project um, last year, but I can tell you that prior to Ron being elected mayor, he and I were on the phone on a regular basis about his vision for Chicago and for transportation. And it's a big, bold vision. It's the kind of vision that we like at DOT because it's a vision where things really get done and transportation improves. And when we make investments, in America, in Chicago, in Illinois, we put our friends and neighbors to work. That's what we've been about for the last four and a half years. That's what Rom's vision is about, putting friends and neighbors to work. And that's really what this project does in the construction of the project. But this river walk becomes an economic, another economic corridor in downtown Chicago for small businesses. You hear, you look, you hear politicians talk all the time about the importance of small business and how they create jobs. This will not only create jobs for those who will build the river walk, but well beyond that, well beyond our time uh, in these jobs uh, for the many small businesses that will become a part of the river walk and serve the citizens of Chicago. One of the things that Congress did in the transportation bill that the president signed last August was increase the TIFIA loan program. This is a loan program. So in the absence of the kind of dollars that we normally would have had in transportation, the Congress decided to really provide the funding in the TIFIA loan program. So this year we have about a billion dollars to spend. Next year, we have about a billion dollars to spend. The first city to submit letters of interest was the Emanuel administration, the city of Chicago, for this project and also another project that we're working on. 
And so we have worked uh, with Gabe and the mayor's team uh, to really make sure that this was done correctly and properly because it's the first one out of the box. It's the first TIFIA loan that we're announcing in America uh, that will leverage millions of dollars. And so I'm, I'm very proud and pleased to announce today a $100 million loan for the city of Chicago. And this went through the process that it go, has to go through with an outside financial person that looked at the loan and looked at all of the information and then two review committees within the Department of Transportation. And so we're announcing today uh, that over the next couple of months, we will continue to review this and uh, there'll be the final announcement of this uh, in June. We've accepted the idea that this is uh, a viable loan, uh, the first one that we will make under the new TIFIA program. It's $100 million, which we believe could leverage up to another $300 million uh, and uh, bring about um, the vision, uh, bring to creation the vision and the dream uh, that the mayor has, uh, that the alderman has, that the city of Chicago has uh, to develop the Riverwalk, which will be a very unique project, really capturing the essence of this river and, and really bringing it to full fruition uh, for the people of Chicago. Uh, so uh, we uh, are delighted to be here today and uh, are always encouraged uh, by the kind of leadership that we see in the city and the vision that the mayor has. And you know, uh, he does have a vision and, um, and has, uh, has announced his vision for transportation and we will continue to work uh, on other projects. But this is a big announcement. This is a big deal. It's a big deal for us at DOT because it really launches the TIFIA program and uh, the opportunities that it will create uh, and what it sends is a message around the country to other mayors. If you have a vision, if you've got big projects, if you've got big dreams, come to us and let us work with you because there is an opportunity through the TIFIA loan program to make those dreams come true and to make that vision a reality. And uh, for me, um, to, to have this opportunity today uh, in my home state, in a city that I care very much about, uh, to, to make this announcement and to team up uh, with my friend, uh, Mayor Emanuel, uh, is, uh, is really uh, very important. And uh, I'm delighted to be here to announce this loan for $100 million, which will leverage lots of other money and put Chicagoans to work, not only building it, but for all the small businesses and the economic corridor that will be created. Thank you. Thank, thank you, Mayor. And thank you, Ray.